with winds expected to be upwards of 40 miles per hour inland and higher than 60 miles per hour along the coast. Florida's power companies are making sure they are ready. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell joins us live now. And Troy, those of us who have been through this before know those high winds could mean a lot of down trees and power outages. We're standing just a couple buildings away from the Orlando Utility Commission's Incident Command Center. That's where they will monitor any major outages. Also over in Kissimmee, they're making sure that all of their resources and staff are on standby to respond to any emergency. Chris Gent over at the Kissimmee Utility Authority, he says that all of their staff has been told to be ready to deploy to neighborhoods in the event of a power outage caused by Hurricane Matthew. Also in Kissimmee, the utility authority has extra electric poles already on hand on their lot so they don't have to go through ordering them in an emergency. They also have rows filled of extra transformers to assure no delay in restoring power to those affected area. The utility authority, they're monitoring the weather. They activated their storm plan this morning. And they also ask the public, anyone watching, to prevent unnecessary damage. They ask that you remove any of your outdoor furniture in case of some of those strong winds hitting your area. It, w until it hits, we don't know. And so we have to kind of plan for the worst opportunity, uh, you know, that comes to that comes to Kissimmee. Um, and so we will actually send um, people out, like we're looking already looking at um, hotels. If we have to bring crews in from. Power crews also, they want to warn the public that if you do use a generator at your house, if your power goes out, do not connect that directly into your home's electrical system because then when a utility worker thinks that a line is down, it's possible that because of that, it causes an electric surge and that can injure one of the linemen out there. So that's very important. Also, coming up a little later at 530, we'll take you inside the Orlando Utility Commission's Incident, um, Incident Command Center so you can see exactly what they're doing in monitoring this afternoon. Back to you. Troy, thank you. Troy Campbell reporting live for us.